Christmas. This is Alessandra. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. This completes the 12th day of Christmas cookies and um, desserts Christmas 2020. Today I'm going to be making with you mostaccioli. Now, mostaccioli is a big variety of words. Uh, originally, the mostaccioli were made, were made with a musto, musto, which was uh, the wine. And uh, of course, each region has a different set of recipe. This is what we eat in Naples. This is what we make in Naples. So this is specialità napoletana. And actually this recipe comes from Massa Lubrense, from my dear friend Gennaro. Grazie Gennaro per la bellissima ricetta. Okay, let's get started with the ingredients. Now, I'm gonna give it to you in cups because I weigh everything uh, in cups. But if you do have a scale, Please follow it in grams. It will be much more precise. So let's get started. I have four cups of flour, a cup and two thirds of sugar. I have half a teaspoon of baking powder and a mixture of half a teaspoon cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of uh, ground cloves and a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, a tablespoon of honey, Four tablespoons of dark cocoa. Try to buy the best cocoa in the market. I'm very particular about that. It makes a difference. And then right here we have a third of a cup of almonds and a cup of hazelnuts. We're going to put them right in the oven. The oven is on 375. Roast them. Keep an eye on them because you don't want to burn them. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Then for the glaze of the stacciolo, I have four cups of dark chocolate the zest of an orange and let's get started okay the uh, they're all toasted i'm going to show you how to remove the skin from outside of the hazelnut so they're nice and hot what you're going to do is this is what you're going to do you're going to close them up in the kitchen cloth like this and give it a good like just do this with your hands you'll see the skin will come right off sometimes let them sit a minute or so it will, it will even be easier let's take a look already yeah see see that see how much has come off already again just seal them up and let let it sit there for a second or two adding the we're going to be chopping the almonds and the hazelnuts so let's go put them in the food processor. Keep shaking the skins off. They come out nicely. Let's get them chopped. This is how you want it to be. Thin but not totally like a flour. You want to have a little crunch when you eat the mostaccioli. Let's get the ingredients in. So I'm going to, the flour, the sugar, the um, baking powder, the mix of the three spices and then I have the cacao, the cocoa and we're going to add the almonds and in here. One more thing, the zest of the orange. The liquid stuff, the first thing I'm going to put is the honey, which is just a little bit. Here it goes. And now, this mixture is going to get mixed. The cookie is going to get mixed with water. So I started with a cup and a quarter of warm water. You don't want it hot, you don't want it cold. Warm water, and that's how it's going to form the dough. Let's just start adding the water a little bit at a time. Thank you. 
believe it or not, already adding the water, since it's warm, it's releasing the aroma of the orange and the cinnamon and the clove and the roasted nuts, and I could already taste it. As you know, if you watch my videos, I get ahead of myself all the time because I get very excited with the food I make. Now, be careful now towards the end because you might think you need a lot more water, but you don't. And then if you do that, it's too wet. You won't be able to roll it out. So just add it really a little bit at a time and just keep stirring. Do this kind of a movement where kind of just get it in. Mix it all in. I'm going to use my hand because I have better control of the dough and how it's supposed to feel. So just keep mixing like this. See that? It's absorbing everything. So I'm going to say I used about a cup of the water. A cup was just enough. Okay? Take a look at the dough. Look how beautiful it is. All right, I fatto la faccia. What that means, it made its face. It's it's beautiful. Every dough needs to look good already before baking. Then you know you have a good successful uh, cookie or whatever you're making. Okay, so take a look at this. What I'm going to do now is put it in the fridge, let it sit. Uh, you could even do it the day before. Comes out even better, and then we'll roll it out. Extra extra flour for rolling out. And I have a beautiful rolling pin. Thank you, Sabrina. This is a beautiful uh, gift. Also, it's a weapon to an Italian mother. So we need to be careful with this. My kids need to be worried. Let's start rolling the dough. And it's up to you on the size. On the size. I don't like them too big, so you can enjoy smaller cookies. They're always cuter. Um, and also, uh, guilt-free, so you can have one more when they're small. If you grab a large one, or well, somebody doesn't like it, I hate that it goes to waste. All the stuff is so wonderful to make that, uh, but I don't like to waste. Um, also, another thing, get your oven on 325. I have a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper right here. And let's get started with the rolling. of a diamond so I'm gonna start by making almost like a box just it makes it easier as you get the shapes done you could also get a diamond shape cookie cutter that's actually something maybe I should get because every time I make these I go crazy figuring out the right shape that they need to be okay so I'm gonna go like this And then this way. Perfect. Okay, this is ma makes it for easier handling. Okay, here's the first one going right in the tray. Uh, take a look also at the thickness. Can you make them a little thicker? Absolutely. Removing from the table. Let's get them on the cookie sheet. Okay, at least the first batch. Ready for the oven for the first batch. 25 minutes have passed and they look perfect. Let's move them over to cool down before we give him a chocolate bath. Actually, I want a chocolate bath. So, let's get them cooled and get, let, let's get the next batch in the oven. Nothing like chocolate over a hot water bath and um, we'll get ready to coat the cookies. The chocolate is melting beautifully, look at that. 
okay time to dip them of course you're gonna uh, need uh, gonna get your fingers dirty there's no other way about it there it goes just lay them down to the next one Continue on. I'll meet you back once they're all dipped. Don't be mad. I'm doing the taste testing already. They are amazing. Okay, this is what we came out. The four cups of chocolate. There's just a little bit at the end, so it was perfect um, balance between the dough and the chocolate. Here, the mostacholi. Let me plate them for you. I made a beautiful uh, chocolate mostacholi poinsettia for you. There it goes. Delicious. Thank you. Today uh, is the final day of the Christmas desserts and uh, cookies. Buon Natale. Happy holidays. Enjoy life. Live it to the fullest. Enjoy every bite. Um, take care. Be safe. Alla prossima. Arrivederci. Ciao, ciao.